Well, you know, this is the first time we actually get to see the car together. You know, uh, for a couple of years, we see the car as a clay model. We see it as a styling mock-up. But really, this is the first time we see actual parts, the actual parts that we've designed come together and integrate as, a, as an automobile. So we're looking for fit and finish, at least on the design side, uh, gaps and flushness. To, to me, I, I like to see the car in motion. It's the first time we get to see the car in a dynamic environment. Cars are not like buildings. They're not static. They're designed to, to move. A reviewing a car indoors or outdoors stationary uh, only tells you so much. So being able to see this car here drive around, it's like uh, Christmas morning for me. It's, it, it looks like a different car to me because it's moving now. It relates to its environment differently than it did when it was uh, stationary and static. People who buy automobiles, whether electric cars or conventionally propelled cars, it's, it's an emotional purchase. I don't think that many people are looking for a science project, something that is simply designed by engineering or aerodynamic criteria. Cars are still very much a fashion statement. They say a lot about you. So even though the car needs to be efficient, it needs to look good. And so we were able to, in my estimation, strike a good balance between aerodynamic performance and those visual cues that excite the buyer, that draw the buyer to the car. And so I think uh, the Volt has a good balance of that. What do you think, Bob? What do you, are we through this? Yeah, you know, I think the, the team is really excited to get to this point. We've been working in clay for all this time, and to see an actual car come together, this is this is crossing the goal line. This is what we've been waiting for. Uh, we've had to imagine this car moving in our head, and we had to imagine o opening the door and getting inside it. Now you can actually do it. It's a living, breathing vehicle. Well, now since the car is in pre-production, we have to sort of babysit the car until it gets spit out the other end of the assembly plant. So all of those little things, all these parts you see on the car are prototype parts, okay? So as the actual production parts, the parts that are pulled off of production tooling, as those parts come in, we need to see those integrated onto the actual vehicle and verify that the gaps are correct. Things fit tight and fit flush. The, the gloss level is correct. The moldings fit properly. We will be uh, monitoring this car until the day the first production one rolls out the other end of the assembly plant. You know, it's, this is a wonderful day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, the car is on time. It's meeting the aerodynamic performance. It looks great. drives great. I'm, I'm very happy.